Alright, I went and uh, went and got this hay bind. First time I've ever used it, I went through it slightly. Uh, got, you know, uh, lubed it up and everything. And uh, we're going to give it a shot, see how, see how it does. I did do this one pass here, and uh, it seems to be doing alright. I just want to make sure everything is good before before it's actual time to uh, cut hay. So I have an acre of hay ground here, uh, and we got a horse. Um, so I'm gonna try to make hay. I did a little test plot. I ran the hay bind that I bought off of a neighbor the other day. On this little test plot, I'm gonna rake it and I'm gonna try to make a bale. Um, it's not much, but we only have one horse right now, so I'm gonna try to make the most out of this. Uh, so the rake is hooked up. I'm gonna flip this lever here, and we will uh, go ahead and rake this. All right, this is the first bit of hay through this uh, since I went through it in, over the uh, winter. I'm gonna try second gear low, see how this goes. Alright, I stopped just to pick up those sticks. We got the makings of a bale, it's first bale, so it's coming along. The uh, twine is still stuck in there, and we got, I don't know, half a bale. We'll see if this will make a whole bale. Alright, I got these hay bales here, but I didn't have enough hay over there in the, in the trial stack to make a bale, so I'm going to just feed this in, see how it goes. Okay, so this side made a knot. You can see it right here. It's still, it's a little loose, uh, but it'll probably get tighter once the bale is out. Um, this side made a knot, but it did not let go of it. So that's a problem. So I'm gonna feed it more and see what happens. Okay, so that bale right there is the end result. I know it's a banana bale. It's packed way too tight. It's like 70 some pounds. It's very heavy. But out of all that, uh, I messed with this thing for most of the, most of, well, not most of the day, but a couple hours. And I found out that the poly twine that I bought from Rural King is too thin and it will not tie in this baler. So uh, I put some uh, balls of twine from Tractor Supply in that is thicker twine and it seems to work just fine. So, I have one hay bale down. Now we're gonna move into the, this is the, this is the thicker twine. The other stuff was even thinner than this. I'm probably gonna upgrade to some better stuff like that. Uh, just, it seems to like the thicker twine. I don't know, you'll see when we bale. All right, like normal, everything is rushed. Um, it is a Friday afternoon, and uh, we we had a nice window to cut hay, and I missed it. I didn't miss it completely, but 
Um, I'm late on it. Everybody else has hay cut and baled, and now I am going to cut my front field. So we'll get going on this and see how it goes. All right, I did my initial outside rounds. Everything seems to be moving pretty well. I might actually kick it out one more notch. So it seems like it's a hair too close to the tractor, but everything is working well. This has a lot of grass in it. Mom. Well, the results of baling or uh, making hay, cutting hay, uh, were good. This thing worked great. Um, I didn't have any problems. I did that whole front field, and um, now it is two days later. It has been in the 80s, dry, and I'm going to bale this field up. So <clears throat> I got the Kubota hooked up to the rake, and we will see how this goes. I'll show you the field before I rake it. So what this field looks like all, all cut after it's laid, it's laid down. All right, we're out here raking. Raking this up. It's pretty dry. It does have some green stuff underneath still. So it's good that I'm rolling this over. I'm making double windrows because they're not very thick. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but we will find out. And when it gets to the end, I'm just doubling back, going two over so I can you know, make a nice easy turn for the uh, baler. So I'll go two over and then I'll come back the other way, push it all into itself. See how this works. I just got done raking. <clears throat> that went, went well. Um, you know, in the future I may change a few things how I go about it, but uh, all in all, I did double the wind rows. Some some places I got a little too wide, some places I uh, what weren't quite wide enough, but um, I don't have any huge, huge clumps or anything. Um, and I think all of this will be pretty easily accessible with the baler. I did it lengthwise just because I have room on this end to turn down there uh, from this little hay I can just do, go back and get another sweep of it so I'm gonna let this dry I actually have time uh, to let this dry uh, so I'm not in a rush I am gonna roll it probably one more time uh, just because I want to make sure it's there's there's a couple little little green spots still in there uh, nothing terrible but um, I'm not in a rush 
because I, I have to work all week also. So I'm gonna let it let it uh, dry for another two days. Roll it maybe once tomorrow. Let it dry another day, and then either Tuesday. It's it's uh, Sunday right now. Either probably Tuesday. I'm gonna try to bail it before work. So uh, yeah, on to the next raking. All right, so we're getting ready to hit, um, bail. It's still got a little moisture in it. Yep, we're gonna rake. It's still got, it's still moist. Yeah. Do I turn it off? Yeah. Okay, so quick overview of the hay cutting. This field, uh, I did fertilize it, and I did I fertilized it, seeded it with Tim, overseeded it with Timothy, and I put uh, lime down on it, uh, like a hundred pounds of lime, not a lot, but it's 0.92 acres. I got 83 hay bales out of this on the first cut. The baler did break, as you'll see in a little part of the video, as you just saw in a little part of the video. The neighbor came over and finished this off. Uh, I bailed 32 bales, he bailed the rest for me. You can figure that out in your head, like 46 more bales he bailed for me. Um, 
So there's still some in the field because as soon as we were getting chased by a possible thunderstorm and uh, father-in-law, I had to go to work, father-in-law and wife and daughter uh, got all they could. They got about uh, somewhere close to 30 bales and there was somewhere around 15 still here in the field. So uh, the neighbor has a bunch of horses. I gave her all these bales, letting they, we just put them out in the field, broke them open. Her horses are picking through them. If there's anything good to eat in them, they're eating them. But the bottoms are starting to mold already just from, it was one inch of rain in 10 minutes. So first cut, hay of the season, first time ever making a hay bale, never doing this before. I did rake hay once, but other than that, uh, I had zero experience, went fairly well. I do have to fix the baler. I'll show you what broke the tucker finger arm um, that controls it from the pusher. Uh, broke so I am going to go ahead and um, I'm gonna weld that back together because the part is two hundred and seventy seven dollars which is crazy I can't I can't afford to do stuff like that and make it worth doing my own hay so I'm gonna weld it back together and I did cut another acre and a half and uh, we'll bail that up on Friday as long as the weather stays all right all right so uh, to fix this baler um, this part is available uh, the link is available but it's 277 dollars it does come with the hardware that's great but this is all it is is just a piece like this and a piece like this so i went ahead and cleaned them up i am going to throw a bead of weld on smooth that bead of weld down and then i'm going to put a washer over this and weld the washer weld around the washer on both sides um to give it extra uh just extra grip because this isn't it's not even a half inch of metal on each side so um and it, it just it looked like it was just like it had been uh working for a while so i'm gonna go ahead and clean that up and we'll weld it okay not professional welds by any means but uh i got a good bit on there on both sides i'm going to grind it down a little bit and then uh put a washer and weld a washer on all right i welded those two washers on there and that's the stack up. I put it right back together. These bolts uh, have to go into the bottom and then into this pin first, and then the top plate and everything can get put back together. So the bottom part has to be put together and set in place, and then the top can go together. It will not. You can't get it without that because this doesn't have enough room. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the PTO on, and we will see if these tucker fingers start moving and packing hay and getting all this hay out of here. All right, fantastic. So it cleared the chamber and we're moving again. So that's great. All right, well, we'll bail some tomorrow and see. All right, this made a 189 hay bales in my first attempt making uh, hay. You saw the breakdown. Uh, we just finished with the last field. We only had like two and a half acres, uh, maybe not even that much. But a handful of things are getting ready to break. Found this. Uh, needs a new link. And over here so this this right knotter missed probably a dozen knots that one didn't miss a single knot so i got to do some research on what could be the issue with this side uh i got a buddy i'm gonna have him look at it um the what else over here this chain i heard some slapping and it is hitting right here. So 
it needs adjusted. I was gonna take, I was thinking I was gonna take a link out of it, but that is the pulley and it is fully adjusted up. So it's definitely gonna need a link taken out and uh, intentioned appropriately based on that because it's too loose right now. So this, this uh, height wheel needs adjusted down to this next notch because it's riding too far in. It was flicking, it's like digging into the ground. You can see a bunch of these teeth are bent. So it is too low. This gauge wheel didn't even really didn't even really touch the ground. So that needs adjusted down another one because it's digging way too far in. And it should look like that. Uh, it's gone. So I need to get a new one of those. Uh, other than those things, it worked well. So half a dozen things that need fixed. I got to look into some nodder adjustments uh, to fine tune that. Had to tighten that chain and the chain on the other side. Um, but I took the bail out. This is going to be sitting for a couple months while that second cut grows. Everything seemed to work very well um, for the most part. So, I don't know. This is probably a long, weird video if you're still here. Um, oh, 32 horsepower tractor did all this. Um, if you're still here, thanks for watching. Hope this video helps you or something. Um, please subscribe to my channel because that helps me and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.